What's up guys, Mark Ray from Crypto Mining Lab and welcome to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking again about this control, uh, overclocking control board. Uh, we have done a few videos before. If you haven't watched the first video, click on the link on the top and go watch that uh, video first. Uh, I've been asked a lot of questions. Some people didn't know how to install it, even, even thought the, uh, the control board itself comes with a, a user manual, so it shows you exactly how to install it and how to perform the overclocking based on you know which uh, model of the S19 or the T19 you're having and different levels of overclocking depends on whether you're using this on a stock air cooling system or you're using this on immersion cooling system so that will depends you have a few limits and different stages of overclocking so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to install this and then go ahead and show you how to use it in today's video we're gonna just use uh this s19 pro 110 terahash and try to perform some overclocking using this control board on, uh, on the traditional air cooling so we're not gonna do any immersion cooling today but this the process will work uh, the same for both uh, immersion cooling as well as air cooling so stay tuned and i will show you guys how to install this roughly in two minutes and how do you start tuning the uh, the hash rate? All right, so what we have here, we have the control board. First of all, we have to uh, take off the cover of the miner itself. In order to do that, it's very easy. Uh, just remember that you have a, a screw here that you have to take off and then you can just pop up the uh, cover as you can see here we can see the uh, the original control board here and basically this one is gonna be sitting in the middle between the uh, the, the, uh, the stock uh, control board and the hash boards so the way to do that I already installed all the cables here so watch the previous video to see how to connect these so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the the original cables that are cables from the miner so really easy takes no time and then we're gonna plug in this one so remember this side that has four uh, cables goes to the original control board and this side with the three wires goes to the hash boards I'm gonna go ahead and connect that and so as you can see it's very simple and as I said earlier the the control board comes with a, a user manual a PDF that you can uh, you can watch and you know see how to install this it's a very easy process then we do this this side as well just make sure that you plug in the cables properly and the next thing is you remove the this uh, uh, power regulator you plug it to the control board here and then this side goes to the original control board here. So as you can see, we're done. I just wanna give you a quick look here. As you can see here, we have the uh, knobs that controls the how much hash rate. As, as I said, there is a manual, so you can follow the manual, the different levels, different steps of uh, uh, overclocking. But for the first time, I will recommend to go first with the <clears throat> with uh, the, the original uh, you know uh, hash rate just to check the, the miner your temperatures and everything and make sure that everything is working in order to bypass this card so it doesn't it doesn't interfere what you have to do is uh, turn on the fourth number four uh, knob to on position and as you turn this on the four uh, sorry this is the third one and we have the fourth one now, as you can see here, we have the fourth knob is on, on, on position. We're gonna go ahead and check our miner and the temperatures, and then we start uh, adding some uh, hash rate. So the miner is up and running, as you can see, it's uh, hashing at 110. It's been running for uh, six minutes. Everything is fine, so we, we set up the uh, control board to bypass so it doesn't do any overclocking. So it's just running on uh, uh, its original frequency and hash rate. Uh, temperatures here are good, it's 74. And uh, as you can see here, all 
all the chips are present no problem at all and so we're gonna go ahead and do the first step which is uh, the level one stage one of the upclocking uh, and the way to do that is to change the position of the knobs I will show you in a moment All right, so we have, we're done with uh, testing the miner itself. So the hash rate is fine, temperatures are good. And so we just have a base. So the base temperature is around uh, 75. As we overclock the miner, obviously the uh, temperature will rise. So just you have a baseline. So the first thing we, get, we need to do in order to start overclocking is to put all the knobs down. If you follow the, the manual, this. So if all the uh, knobs are down to off position means that you're running on uh, stage one of a clocking that will give you if you follow the uh, instruction that will give you roughly about five to hash extra on the uh, s19 pro but we're gonna skip that we're gonna go straight away to uh, stage two uh, level two of overclocking and which means that we we need to turn on the uh, first first knob to on position and as you can see, it's on, on the on position. And we're gonna go ahead and turn the miner and let it run for uh, 10, uh, 15 just, minutes. And uh, finish uh, setting the, the knobs on the <coughs> on the control board. So what I did is I uh, skipped the directly to the level two, which is the the first knob into the posi on position. As you can see here, the hash rate went from 110 to 121 average. So we, we gain about 10 to the hash and the miner has been running for 17 minutes. If you check the temps here, temps are still good, 77, 78. And just want to show you something also just to see this is like a genuine uh, increase of hash rate. So this is a uh, hash rate from the pool. As you can see, the hash rate is almost reaching 120. So this is genuine. It's not a fake, fake hash rate increase or whatever. Uh, you can keep, uh, you know, pushing the hash rate and keep an eye on your temperatures here. I will try to go to the next level, which will be uh, level three. So what I'm gonna do is I turn on, uh, turn off the uh, first knob and turn on the second knob number two, turn it onto on position, and see how much uh, hash rate we're gonna get. I think it's uh, probably gonna be the the maximum can push on the uh, on the fan cooling. Uh, otherwise, we're gonna run into issues with uh, temperatures. I'm gonna go ahead and do that and show you guys what we get from from the level three. So this is level three, uh, and as you can see, mine has been running for seven minutes. The hash rate is at one twenty seven zero hash. Uh, the temperatures around eighty. So we've gained uh, another seven, six to seven terahash, but the temperature increased only by two degrees. Uh, I think after the after this, you will be limited to uh, to the power because the, this is this miner is running on uh, the stock power supply and also the temperatures. So as you can see on the manual, uh, there are I think up to uh, for the S19 ter uh, Pro, uh, 110 terahash, I think the, the maximum recommend is 20 uh, terahash increase. After that, you have to go immersion cooling and you have to upgrade your uh, power supply. All right, so this is how it's done and how do you install the control board and you control the hash rate uh, based on the position of the knobs. Uh, just just uh, one thing you have to keep in mind is Every miner will produce different level, different uh, you know level of uh, hash rate increase. Depends on the health of your uh, miner as well as the cooling cooling uh, system you're using. So just keep that in mind. So and also you'll be limited to how much power your power supply is going to be supplying to to the hash board. So at certain point, if you're running on stock uh, power supply the hash rate will not increase just because your power supply is limited so you have to upgrade the power supply itself if you guys are interested on buying one of these i will leave a link in the description and if you have any questions please leave them in the, uh, the comment section if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please uh, do so and i'll see you in the next one